Today's border report there continues to be an influx of deadly fentanyl on this side of the border, poisoning our communities. This synthetic opioid, which is up to 100 times more powerful than morphine, is being smuggled across the border at a record pace, and Arizona's attorney general says half of it is coming from his state. In particular, one border entry straight south of Tucson. Allie Bradley is in Arizona today to explain how some believe the dangerous drug is making it across the border in the first place. Good morning, Allie. Yeah, good morning, Mitch. So out of all of the opioid overdose deaths in the U.S., the CDC says that 67% involved fentanyl. And we know that millions of pills are coming in and being seized. But a lot of these pills are making it past authorities and making it into the hands of Americans, obviously causing these deaths. They're not dying over interdicted drugs. So the attorney general here, he is outgoing. This is his last day, says that the drugs here are, are making it through Arizona. This is the hub and the highway. So take a look here. This is what was seized by CBP officers at the point, port of entry here in Nogales. 1.2 million pills. The port director saying that the first seizure was of about 541,000 fentanyl pills and four pounds of fentanyl powder that were concealed in the doors and rear panels of a car. And then just seven hours later, more than 689,000 fentanyl pills were found hidden throughout a vehicle. Now, the port of entry has been the busiest spot along the southern border for fentanyl seizures. More than 15.75 million pills have been seized at that single port of entry since the start of this fiscal year, which just began October 1st. Across the border, Border Patrol is reporting that 208 pounds of fentanyl were found by agents in the interior, meaning that it made it through the ports of entry or through holes in the border. Now, if we broke that down into pill form, you're looking at around 943,000 fentanyl pills. Arizona Attorney General Mark Burnovich says at least half of the drugs making it into the country are flowing across Arizona's border at the hands of the cartels. Brnovich says it's getting in through tunnels, drones, and by people evading law enforcement. He says the price of fentanyl has dramatically decreased, which is an indication that the flow of the drug is increasing despite these frequent seizures. For the cartels, it's a cost of doing business that a certain amount of their loads are going to be seized. But when the cartels get more powerful, when the cartels get richer, every American's life is in jeopardy. So in an effort to bring some awareness to this crisis, the DEA has been sharing this, what they call the faces of fentanyl, people who have been lost to the deadly drug, of course. And as I mentioned, Mitch, Attorney General Mark Brnovich, today is his last day. And when we had the conversation, he said that one of the things he's really hoping for is that incoming Attorney General Chris Mays will put an importance on securing the border and will know just how important that is for our nation. Mitch. It's just so tragic how many folks have died by accident because they didn't know there was fentanyl in the drugs they were taking. Allie, thank you for that report. We hope they uh, get it under control down there. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.